What's up everybody, it's Tracy Upon here with another episode of Bucket Coding Tutorials. Today it's going to be uh, episode number 6 and we're going to cover how to add um, glow or the enchant effect on items without actually having them enchanted. On some servers you might see items that have maybe luck of the sea or unbreaking just so they can have that special glow effect. Oh, well, that's not really that professional, so we're going to learn how to remove that today and just have the glow effect by itself. So you can actually just do this with one method, but it is an NMS method, meaning it is going to uh, require some references to the net.minecraft server package. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the method. Uh, let's make it private, and it's going to return an item stack. This is just a... Uh, regular bucket item stack so yeah um, I'm gonna name it not get but add glow and it's gonna take in the bucket item stack I'm just gonna name it item I'm just gonna name the variable item okay now you want to convert it to a NMS item stack and how you'll do that is create another variable net dot minecraft server dot item stack we can name this nms item and then you'll have to do craft item stack this is a static method uh, as nms copy and then you just put in your bucket item stack as the perimeter so yeah now you have your nms item stack now what we want to do is get its nbt uh, data if you will so I'm going to create another variable, nbt tag compound, and I'm going to call this nbt. And we want to check if the item stack already has nbt data. So uh, we're going to use this little, uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like a single statement or something. But this is what you'll have to do, nms item get tag equals null if it does not have a tag then we wanna give it we wanna um, we want this to equal a new tag that we're gonna create right here so nbt tag compound simple as that but if it does have a tag then we just want it to equal um, the tag that it already has so yeah and just import that so yeah now for the adding the nb tag nbt tag that we want the enchanting the inch it's called tag we want to do nbt tag list and we can call this um, inch equals new nbt tag list and just import everything and now what we want to do is do nbt set I'll remove those characters right there uh, the first parameter is going to be inch or actually a string uh, so we can specify what nbt value we want to set and this is the value that we're going to set it to inch and this is just a plain old nbt tag list with basically no data in it so all the so the item uh just knows that it's going to have the glow effect it doesn't know what enchantments it's going to have in this case it's not going to have one so now at the end we want to set the tag for the NMS item to the tag we just updated. So we're just gonna do set tag and set it to NBT. All right, now we just wanna return it as a bucket item stack. Oh, uh, basically gonna do something similar to this, but it's kind of reversed if you, um, um, yeah, craft item stack as bucket copy. NMS item. Alright, that's our whole method. And 
since it's returning item stack, we can just do this. It wouldn't work if you were to do add glow item. No, it, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, even though it doesn't throw like it doesn't show any errors in the Java IDE or in the console, um, it wouldn't work. So yeah, just export this really quick. Oh, this is my test server. And here it is. And I just added on to the plugin from last episode, the inventory plugin. So uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed already. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all to it. Here it is. If you want, if you want to look at it closely, you can pause the video here and try retyping it in your IDE. So yeah, there it is. That's how you set the glow without actually adding an enchantment. So yeah, that concludes bucket coding episode six. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.